Hello and welcome back to another Oasis Top Tips. Did you know that you can export 3D models in Oasis D3 Plot and share them with your team or clients using the interactive D3 Plot Viewer? Today I'm really excited to show you the brand new D3 Plot Viewer, which allows you to share 3D model results with your team or clients in a way that they can interact with. You can access this on most modern browsers using the following URL. To start with though, we need to create a 3D model file or .glb file. So I'm going to open up D3plot with our Hyundai Accord model and show you how you can do this. Firstly, we want to choose what we actually want to show. It is a good idea to be selective about what you show as this can help keep the file sizes down, making them easier to share, more responsive in the viewer. So, in this case, I want to show just the displacements of the front of the car. So I'm going to blank off some of these parts and click reverse. And then I also want to turn on a contour plot. So I can do that with a CT or I press F on my keyboard to give the shaded view, which I personally like. I've already turned on a relative displacement so that the front of the car will displace inwards rather than moving forwards with the animation. And then once I'm happy with my animation, I go to Images and 3D Viewer Exports. And here I have some options available to me. So firstly, I can choose the path where to write out my file. And then this option below allows you to toggle between compressed and uncompressed. By default, it's compressed, which will help keep the file sizes down. Just as a side note, you'll want to use the uncompressed option if you're using these files within software such as PowerPoint. Next, I can choose the output. By default, it's set to animation. This means that all of the frames or states I've selected will be saved into the file. Alternatively, I could just choose to use the current frame, supposing this frame was the only one of interest. In this case, I'm going to select animation and then the default frame rate, I'm going to turn down to 10 frames per second. And then in terms of states, I'm just going to select some custom states and I've decided that I only want up to the first 50 states. So I'm just going to click there, hold down shift and then deselect all the rest. Once I'm happy with my selection, I can then click on capture. It's going to run through the animation and save all of the states out to that file. This will take differing amounts of time depending on how complex your model is. Now that my GLB file has successfully saved, I'm going to come back to the browser and I'm going to open up my 3D model file and drag it into the browser. And here we can see the model animating. We can scroll around and interact with it. And just a couple of things to note. So the frame rate that I set as default is here and I can change that if I'd like to. There's also the contour plot preserved. Um, and if we had a ZTF file present, then the include structure is there as well. And we can blank and change the visibility via the includes. So I hope you found this top tip really useful on how to export 3D model files and bring them into the D3 plot viewer. I look forward to seeing you at the next Oasis Top Tips.